Won't you come outside where the sunflowers bloom? Welcome to Sunflower Symphony, a property built in 1.18 with the idea of a sun-fill design in mind. This eight-stall barn has plenty of space, a lovely floral and natural ambience, and a place for you to play Minecraft without the worry of building more than a few extra things. This is a pre-built barn, meaning you don't need to do any work and you can get it for free. Sadly, due to unfortunate version changing circumstances, this barn, which was originally in 1.16, can now only be offered in 1.18. Before you learn how to get this world and the barn, we'll explore this new build together and talk about the process. Please remember that liking and sharing this video will help me continue. This barn took weeks to put together, and all I am asking is you press a button for free, so thank you. Sunflower Symphony was built with the idea of sun and happiness, something that may seem like a fairy tale. Minecraft is a getaway for a lot of us, so why not make it a getaway? The property is an open feeling mixed with forests of yellow and brightness, plus the quirk mod allows petals to fall from the blossom trees. So an extra 10 points for an outdoor ambience. First, the property opens up with a short lawn. This can be added to, but I wanted something that wasn't filled with any plants or foliage since there are a lot of flowers and plants alongside the structures. Then the barn. This barn has eight stalls and four open areas. Each stall is seven by seven and the open areas contain a feed area, tack area, office, and an open spot for you to use however you'd like. Two of these rooms have an outside area where you can place decorations, a wash spot, or whatever you envision. I left a lot of spots undecorated because I want you to design these uniquely to your taste, so do whatever you wish. Dolls themselves open up into a courtyard. The horses can view a low fenced in area that has a lattice arch at each side. The courtyard has plants and can be a nice calming place for a seating area or something close for guests. The pathway is enclosed within trees, the forest thicker to prevent any animals escaping easily, and then the pastures appearing. These pastures can fit four horses per pasture, meaning the amount of stalls is perfect for the horses going into two pastures. There is also the cutest pond, optional fishes to be added. Past the pastures on the left is a round pen. This is smaller and perfect for lunging or breaking in, and around the pen is a small track. This track would be good for jogging your horse back and forth and makes an excellent start to a track if you'd like to continue it around the property. Then across the way is the arena. This arena is a good size but could be bigger or even duplicated for the players who want more room. Overall, this build is a good starter build with potential to be edited and changed to your desires or left how it is. Now that we have gone over the barn, how do you get it? Ko-Fi is my new go-to destination for distributing all of my file content, whether it's a paid barn like Peach Cottage and King's Landing, or a free barn like this, and hopefully many more assets and barns to come. First, you must have my 1.18 mod pack. If you don't want that, major mods used are SWEM, DM, LM, Quark, Supplementaries, and Serene Shrubbery. If you don't have these mods, then the barn might not load completely. If it's something like Serene Shrubbery, that's just the flowers, that won't be a big deal, but DM missing means that most of the blocks disappear. With my mod pack, you'll want to allocate half of your available RAM on your computer in order to run any sort of mods well, especially if it's my mod pack. I recommend 8GB max. Start the process by heading over to my Ko-Fi, which is in the description, and downloading. This is free, but tipping to help me continue is definitely appreciated. After getting the file, export it using 7-zip or WinRAR. If you don't have an export program and you decide to go and try to download one off of Google, please make sure they're on the actual website. After exporting, go into the folder and copy the folder within that. Then, locate your Minecraft folder. A good way of doing this is to go to options within your Minecraft, click resource packs, open the resource pack folder, and direct to your main folder from there. I'm sure there are easier ways to find the folder, but that is the easiest I have found. Then, go to your saves folder. Paste the folder in there and it should generate as a single player map. You are free to do this while you are playing Minecraft, so you don't need to close down Minecraft, put it in the folder, and then start Minecraft back up. It's a really easy option and it should show up just like this. If it doesn't, you miss something or there is some problem along the way. If you'd like to use it in any other world, you are free to capture a schematic using world edit. Remember that this barn isn't yours to claim. If you use it in videos or posts, you must credit and don't redistribute. If you edit it, it's credited for base build. Claiming a build you didn't make is not cool, so please don't do it. 
I really hope you guys enjoy this barn as much as I have been enjoying it and I'm so excited to see all of the future videos and content you guys push out or just seeing that you guys are enjoying it by yourself or with friends. Also, if you guys are thinking about starting up a server, I do have a bisect hosting code, which I will leave in the description. This is a perfect way to host for anybody around the world, like friends or even just starting up a server. This is what I use for my servers and it is an amazing service. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Stay healthy and safe and hydrated. Enjoy Sunflower Symphony and I will see you in the next video or stream.